Hello guys, this is Mad Metal Guy Videos here, and I'm Aaron. Well, I'm here to talk to you um, about my experience with gaming, PC gaming, um, PCs as a whole, and just the entire industry of PCs and gaming put together. So anyway guys, let's get to it. <laughs> Alright guys, so, um, my gaming experience has actually been a long one. I started gaming on a PC, or nah, gaming in general, when I was like 6 or 7-ish, yeah. I was on a NES, and I was having a lot of fun. Um, but my first console that was actually mine was a GameCube. Um, I had a GameCube, my first game actually came with the GameCube bundled with it, was a, uh, or Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime was my favorite game series in the entire world at the time. I played Metroid Prime, played Metroid Prime Echoes, and, uh... I didn't play Corruption. I played the DS one because when it came out, because I had a Nintendo DS, a DS Lite. But I didn't play Corruption because I refused to buy a Wii. Who would? But anyway, rambling. But my gaming experience has been throughout my childhood, and now I'm an adult, and I've moved on to PC gaming. I'm a proud PC gamer, and yeah. So this is my I'm going to first run down the specs of my system, uh, just to, or the history of my systems with the specs and my current system. So, I have two actual gaming devices right now, PCs. Um, I have a desktop and a laptop. We're going to start with the desktop. So, the desktop I've had since, like, last year. But I've done some major innovations to it lately. Um, so, start off with the original desktop specs. I had an AMD FX6100 in the system. I'm not going to talk about motherboard because that doesn't really matter to me right now. I have the same motherboard in there anyway. It's a gigabyte one. Uh, so, I had an AMD FX6100 uh, that was clocked at 3.3 gigahertz. I have 16 gigabytes of. Uh, DDR3 1600 MHz RAM. Hold on, my phone vibrated. Oh, it died. Okay. 1600 MHz SD RAM. Um, I had two graphics cards running in Crossfire. They were horrible graphics cards, but graphics card. But in together, when running Crossfire, they were actually okay. Um, they played everything at 1080, but at medium to low settings. Yeah, I couldn't really go high at all unless I dropped down the resolution. They were basically AMD Radeon uh, HD 6670s uh, running in Crossfire. And some games didn't support Crossfire. And the games that didn't, I had bugs. And that was honestly a negative part of my gaming experience because I had bugs with Crossfire um, I didn't want to disable Crossfire because it honestly performed better in some games. But honestly, it was just how I made the experience. I chose to cheap out on the graphics cards a little. And that's what I did. So, um, and then I had uh, one terabyte HDD in there. I still have that in there, actually. And I had a six, uh, 650 watt power supply. And then I have an in-win case. It's actually a pretty nice case. I still use it. I love the case design. It's honestly really nice. But um, basically, how my system works now is I actually last year I got the I got the actual unit around at right after summer, after summer 
Um, yeah, I used it for a while, thought the graphics cards were shit, so I decided to upgrade it. So I did, and I upgraded it to the Radeon HD 7850, the XFX Double Dissipation Edition. Really nice, with uh, 2 gigabytes also of GDDR5, um, 256-bit memory. Um, really nice card. It handled me until actually a few weeks ago. Um, but I did cheap out a little bit on that build, on that graphics card, but it ran all my games perfectly. It just couldn't run all the newer games perfectly. So, like, Battlefield 4, I had to drop down from ultra to high. Um, I don't know. That was weird. But, anyway. Um, it was just... It was nice. It was perfect for what I wanted, but it wasn't all that I wanted. I wanted a little more performance while streaming or recording or something. But then I got a gaming laptop about uh, about uh, January this year. Um, I've been using it for a month, and it's honestly been really nice. I've had really positive experiences with this laptop. Now I'm going over the laptop specs. Um, it has a Intel Core i7, um, 4800MQ, so it's the new Haswell chips, clocked at about 4 or 2.7 gigahertz with a turbo core or turbo clock of 3.7 gigahertz. I have 16 gigabytes of Kingston Beast memory, um, 1600 megahertz, it's non-SD RAM, so it's just normal, DDR3. Um, I have... A GTX 770M graphics isn't that bad. It's not that bad. It performs a little better than my 7850 in some cases. Um, some cases the 7850 performs a little better than mine. All in all, I'm seeing better performance over my desktop and my laptop. And then, basically, it has, uh, for hard drive space, it has a... Uh, 120 gigabyte SSD and a terabyte HDD and then it has a 1080p display a really nice casing and everything LED backlit keyboard it doesn't have a blu-ray player but I don't really use blu-ray anyway I probably I've never used a blu-ray and I probably won't but um yeah so that's my gaming laptop and then I decided it was time for my desktop to receive an upgrade. I decided that I was going to upgrade my desktop. So I decided a few things I needed to upgrade over what could be used more. So I decided to upgrade my CPU, graphics card, and uh, a power supply. I had already bought a power supply. I just hadn't put it in yet. So what I did was I... Uh, put in a uh, AMD FX 8320 processor. I put in a, um, I have the same 16 gigabytes of G skill RAM. I got a GTX, actually an ASUS GTX 770 um, Direct CU2 4 gigabyte card. And that has honestly been the best card I've used so far. I, uh, I did a few testing on it, I did a few tests on it a little while ago, and it's honestly a really beast of a card. Um, it's better than my 770M, but it, it, it just runs miles against the, 80, the uh, 7850. And yeah, and then for power supply, I have a, uh, a Ultra HS um, power supply, uh, it's 750 watts hybrid modular um, 80 plus bronze power supply and I installed it and it's all working good um, that's my new system or upgraded and yeah so this has been part one of my video I'm going to break this up into a few parts but I'm going to go over the key points of this video so this is my experience with gaming um, I'm going to upload this video probably today as it's 1.39 a.m. And, yeah, so the key points are, one, um, 
PC gaming is what you make of it. Alright guys, um, this has been part one. Part two will be explaining how my experience with PC gaming has been. And just telling you guys how yours can vary. And yeah. Anyway guys, I'll talk to you later. Mad Mill Guy Videos, out.